Hi, my name is Dr. Sasha Hai, and I'm an internal medicine specialist and obesity expert. We've been talking about obesity as a chronic medical condition, and today I'm going to share with you evidence-based treatment for obesity from the Obesity Canada guidelines. First, let's talk about what obesity treatment is not. It is not short-term, 30-day diets, quick fixes, guaranteed 50-pound weight loss or your money back, magic pills, or freezing your fat away. The commercial weight loss industry is a huge, multi-billion dollar industry that preys on people's desire to lose weight or fit a certain aesthetic and plays off the ongoing misconception that if we just dieted harder or exercised a little harder, we could all be slim. A recent study called the Action Trial polled Canadians living with obesity and found that 74% of them believe that it's their sole responsibility to manage their weight. That means they're not talking to their doctor. And most of them believe that the treatment is diet and exercise. And yet, study after study has demonstrated that the amount of weight loss expected over one year with diet and exercise alone is in the range of 2 to 5%. In the action trial, only 1 in 10 Canadians with obesity was able to maintain a 10% weight loss at one year. So what's going on here? Are the 7 million Canadians living with obesity all lacking in willpower and not dieting enough? No. If you've been watching over the past few weeks, you understand that obesity is caused by a number of complex factors that cause disordered body weight regulation, and weight is controlled by the brain. So the treatment isn't as simple as saying, eat less and move more. Now, please hear me. I'm not saying that diet and exercise are not important. In fact, lifestyle modification remains the cornerstone of weight management. But lifestyle modification includes a healthy approach to eating, which means not just what you're eating, but why and how and when, and it includes physical activity. It also includes stress management, ensuring adequate sleep, and addressing mood disorders. On top of this, many people will require additional support to help sustain lifestyle changes. And this is where the three pillars of weight management come in. The first is cognitive behavioral therapy, or CBT, and we're going to talk about this in depth in next week's episode. The second is pharmacotherapy, or weight management medications. And the third is bariatric surgery. So let's talk about obesity medications. Obesity is probably one of the most undertreated diseases globally. In the USA, 46% of the adult population qualifies for weight management pharmacotherapy, and yet only 2% are being treated. Compare this with diabetes, where 8.6% of the population qualifies for medication, and the treatment rate is 86%. Why is this? Well, I believe it reflects the ongoing bias we have as a society that obesity is not a real disease, and so it doesn't require real treatment. In Canada, there are three approved medications for chronic weight management. But with more and more research into this field, we're expecting many more effective and safe medications to become available in the next decade. The newer medications deal with the complex biology within the brain that drives craving, appetite, and eating behaviors. Brain MRI studies have found that people with obesity have more reward center activation than lean people. That means more cravings, more food chatter, and enjoyment of food. This can result in overeating. Medications can offset that. Finally, bariatric surgery is an option for those living with higher levels of obesity. Many people are afraid of bariatric surgery because of concerns around the procedure itself, and understandably so. But bariatric surgery is the most effective treatment we have for those with a BMI greater than 40 and has been shown to actually change the hormones that drive eating behaviors. So it needs to be carefully considered along with your healthcare provider. What's the take home message? Obesity is a difficult disease to treat and long term weight management can be challenging. But there are effective, evidence based treatments available and we have greater science and understanding now than we ever did before. So if you're struggling with your weight, I encourage you to speak with your doctor, find an obesity specialist, or visit the Obesity Canada website for more resources. My name is Dr. Sasha Hai. Thanks for watching.